Ah, the satisfaction of installing a new SSD. So much storage! But then you turn on your PC and it's like it never happened. Where is it? It's right there. Where? You all just saw me do that, right? When you install a new SSD but Windows doesn't even recognize it, it can make you question reality a little bit. Today, we'll make sure you and your PC are on the same page about your storage upgrade. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, my name is Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in 5, the video series where we attempt to make you a DIY tech expert on a wide variety of issues in five minutes or less. Today, we are tackling Windows OS not straight up gaslighting you when it comes to your latest upgrade, insisting that the SSD you most certainly did install doesn't exist. We'll get this sorted in no time. As always, if you find the tips in today's video useful, please like this video, ding that bell, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future tech tips. First thing to do is be sure that the new drive is installed properly. If you're installing a SATA SSD, check that the SATA cable is connected properly to the motherboard and that you've connected power from your PSU to the drive as well. If in doubt, unplug them and plug them back in again just to be sure. If you're adding a new SSD as a storage drive, make sure your motherboard has the hot plug enabled in the BIOS, otherwise it might not appear until you reboot your system. If you're installing an NVMe SSD, make sure the slot you're using on your motherboard supports that type of drive. Each motherboard is different, so best to be sure. Always consult your system manufacturer's documentation to be sure on how to extract the best performance out of your system and SSD. Next, before we even start getting into this with Windows, let's check our BIOS settings. Reboot or start up your PC using your motherboard's special key to open the BIOS. Typically, this is a one key press during the motherboard logo, like delete, F1, F2, F10, or escape. And sometimes getting the timing right can be tricky, so don't get frustrated. Once in BIOS, look for a storage section. If it's a SATA drive you're installing, make sure the configuration is set to AHCI. If that doesn't work, you can try IDE or compatibility mode to see if it fixes things. If your motherboard is a little older, you may even need to enable the SATA port for it to work at all. Again, consult your PC or motherboard manual here because they're all a little bit different. Okay, now let's get into Windows. Sometimes a new drive just needs to be initialized, a polite hello, if you will. Right click on the Windows logo and select Disk Management. Locate your new drive, Right click and select Initialize Disk. You'll then be asked to choose MBR or GPT for your partition style. Most of the time you want GPT, so if unsure, select that. Once the drive is initialized, right click on the unallocated space, select New Simple Volume, and follow the on screen instructions. Sometimes your drive won't show up in Windows because it needs a new drive letter. You can select a new drive letter in Disk Management by right clicking the drive and choosing Change Drive Letter End Paths. Note that if you have existing apps or games on the drive, changing the drive letter may cause problems. Sometimes your drive doesn't show up at all in disk management. <laughs> Yikes! Give it a gentle nudge in disk management by going to Action Rescan Disks. Wait for the scan to finish and hopefully your drive will be seen now. Another solution if your drive can't be found is to reinstall the disk driver. To do this, right click on the Windows logo and go to Device Manager. Expand disk drives and right click on the SSD that's not showing up. Click on uninstall device. Sometimes a drive won't show up in disk management simply because it's the wrong file system and needs to be reformatted. Note that this process will delete the data on a drive and bring it to a like new condition. For a step-by-step -step guide on how to reformat your SSD, check out our last DIY in 5 episode that walks you through it. If after all of this is done, your drive is still not recognized, it might be a hardware problem. Hopefully, one of these fixes got your PC and your SSD talking to each other and you are blissfully on your way to making the most of your new SSD storage. If you found another solution or still have questions, shout them out in the comments and we can all help each other out. Until next time, my name's Trisha Hirschberger and you've been watching DIY in 5.